Alright guys, welcome back to All Things Outdoors. And also, please be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Be sure to put that down in the comments below, seeing you did that for a shout out. Without further ado, let's get started. So, and also, today we're out here in the woods. We're going to be exploring one of the most interesting fruit trees out here in the eastern hardwood forests of North America. We're going to be talking about the persimmon tree. Um, and we're going to show you some other cool things. So yeah. Um, please be sure to watch this video till the end. It'll be pretty interesting. Got a lot of interesting stuff to show you. Anyway, over here, we're going to start off with the autumn olive. As you can see, look at the little berries on it. Aren't they cool looking? It's not really wanting to focus, is it? There it goes. Look at that. Aren't those little guys beautiful? Some of them are starting to turn red, and the bush is covered in them. And there's another bush over here that I'm going to show you real quick. Um, it's just down this trail. And it is completely loaded with fruit. Um... Pretty cool. Down here at the end of the trail, we've actually got some other cool things to show you. We'll show you them briefly because they're in a whole lot. Over here we've got little pawpaw trees. How about that? Little pawpaws. Love pawpaws. Pawpaws are such a wonderful fruit. They're actually the state fruit of Ohio. As you can see, we got little ones. Little pawpaw trees growing everywhere. Got a bigger pawpaw tree right here. And if we come over here, we've got a really big one. Look at the size of this. Oh, that, that one, this one here died. But uh, over here, we've got two big ones. You got this guy right here and that guy right there. Let's see, two of them. And there's another one. It's kind of big over there. Let's see if there's any other pawpaws. Got a couple little pawpaw trees growing up over here. Uh, but I don't really see any other bigger pawpaw trees. Um, it's basically the only pawpaw tree cluster around this forest. Which kind of stinks because I absolutely love pawpaws. Maybe we'll do about a, a video about them if we have any fruit on them. You can check for fruit on them real quick. I believe that could be a pawpaw tree as well. Actually, no, that's just a spice bush. Never mind. Well, let's see if we got any fruit on them. Didn't see any fruit there on these little guys, but I didn't expect to see any fruit on the little trees. Fruit would, if there is any fruit, it would be on the bigger trees. And there is no fruit. It's kind of stink. It kind of stinks. Luckily, pawpaw trees grow pretty fast, so maybe within the next year or two, maybe we'll actually have some pawpaws on the pawpaw trees. And over here, we have the autumn olive bush that I wanted to show you that is completely loaded with fruit. Look at all the fruit on this thing. And they're almost ripe. You may be thinking, oh, those look ripe. And they do look ripe, but they're not quite ripe yet. They're very close to being ripe. And I know that because if we, if they're supposed to be sweet, if we eat, we've got a three berries, and these are edible, 100% edible. If we got this one here, we've got three berries to make sure you don't have any ripe berries. <coughs> Not quite ripe yet, but they're almost ripe won't be too much longer before they get ripe. So yeah, stay tuned for when we actually show you how to harvest those. We got our basket here and some rope to tie it to the tree. We're gonna go get some persimmons, also known as the divine fruit. We're gonna cut this next section out because I'm just gonna be walking to the persimmon tree. That's about it, so I'm not gonna really show that part because it's not that interesting. All right guys, here we have found the persimmon tree. And as you can see up there, look at all the fruit on it absolutely loaded with fruit this this is these are persimmons also known as the divine fruit and there's a couple other little na names that i don't really know here we have persimmons everywhere whoops sorry bumped the camera didn't i and there's two ways to harvest these guys so you can either 
kind of like pick them off the tree or you can uh harvest them off the ground and we're gonna we're gonna do both methods today so yeah just the whole thing see as you can see we've got the little persimmons they're everywhere some of these are really bruised and soft we're looking for ones that are not like hard but we want them to be a little bit more firm than these ones because these things are like like water balloons are so soft yeah and the bugs seem to like them like fruit flies or whatever yeah these guys are all bruised and bumped and busted these are all busted up aren't they yeah they are look for some of them in the leaf litter because maybe they'll be a bit softer this one's pretty soft, but it's got a pretty big bruise on it that we cannot ignore. Okay, here we have a persimmon that is not completely busted up. So we're going to collect it. Take it right. Put it right in there. Our bucket. Our basket, sorry. We're going to move on. The mosquitoes are terrible today. There are persimmons all over the ground here today. There's so many of them. Like, look at them all everywhere all just falling off the tree I guess this one's pretty good I would say a little bit of a bruise on Ooh, that one's really soft there's like so many bugs some of these areas with a lot of persimmons on the ground lots of like little mosquitoes and whatnot I'm getting eaten alive good grief Ah. And that one's kind of bruised too, isn't it? Oh, this guy here. Yeah, he's got a big bruise on him. Yeah. So many bugs really annoying all right so can't really find any good ones on the ground actually we might got a couple here oh yeah this one's pretty good it's a nice one this one yeah it's got a big bruise on it too then it that one uh this one eh, it's not really good Here we go. We got two good persimmons so far. Now we're going to use the second method to be to harvest them directly off the tree. And I have an idea of how we're going to do that. Just need a stick that I can use as like a like a hook or a grabber to collect persimmons. So we will come right back as soon as we get that. Well, actually, first let's probably should look around just to see if there's any low hanging branches that. I've got persimmons on them. Oh yeah, we do. Got some little hanging branches with persimmons. Look at them all. So many there are. So many of them. And these are all not ripe yet. See a couple orange ones. Got an orange one right here. Not even ripe yet. It's kind of annoying. Oh. Hard to get through all this brush. See little persimmons here. Want to test them to make sure they're Ready? Well, that one there is ready. Got a couple good ones, as you can see right here. Look at them. They're great. Put them, I'm going to bring the basket over here so I don't have to keep making trips back to the basket. I can just take them and then I can put them right in the basket. Put the basket right there. Now I can just kind of harvest these persimmons ease. Hopefully not get completely eaten alive by mosquitoes in the process. That one's pretty good. It's, some of these are just starting to fall right off the tree. Good grief. They are loose, some of these guys. That one's not ready. Look at the big ones up there. Put them in my pocket for now. Ugh. Got one right over there. We're gonna grab. We got another two of them right up here. They're really soft. So that one's not soft yet. Got one, two. 
There we go. Look at them. Really good ones. They're nice persimmons there. And I still see some more orange ones. And they're orange, that means when they're they're pretty they're somewhat close to being ruddy. And sometimes they are ruddy. Um don't got any more. Actually you might got one right here. Sorry about the leaves in the camera. Yeah, that one there is not quite ready yet. But that's okay. What about this guy here? I think he's ready actually. Let's give him a little bit more of an in-depth test. No, he's not ready. Fortunately. But that's okay. Get some more big ones right over here. Wow. Look at them all. This guy here. Yeah. This guy's ready here. Got him. Pretty good. Those two are not ready. Um, what about this one right here? Definitely not ready. Still hard. Got some really nice and orange ones right here. Ooh, those are ripe. That one's especially there. Perfect. Look at them. Aren't they nice? Those look really good. Uh, those two guys, they are not ready quite yet. Not quite ready yet. Those guys there, they aren't ready. That's okay. We are really harvesting a lot of them here. Got so many of them. I'm going to put them all in the basket now. Look at them all. It's a lot of persimmons. Especially since I haven't even got, since, especially since I haven't, I'm not even working that hard to get them. They're just everywhere on this tree. There's so many of them. I don't, we don't usually have persimmon trees like this that are, have this many persimmons on them. There's another two persimmon trees right there. There's so many persimmons over here. They're everywhere. It's a lot of persimmons. Um, maybe, did we check this, these upper branches here? I don't think we did. No, we did not. Let's check, because I see some big, juicy looking ones. Well, that one's not ready yet, is it? Not that one will be ready, it's huge. Eh. Nope. These guys are not quite ready yet. Get this branch over here. Yeah, we did. Okay. Oh, bug. <laughs> so many bugs. Jay, they're everywhere. Usually you don't get this many bugs, but it'll be worth it for these persimmons. They're so good. Um... I'm going to go over here, see if we can get any branches. Oh, persimmon just fell off the tree. This. This one just fell right here. Hey, it was this one. That one feels good, actually. This one right here that I just collected. Pretty nice. And these two, yeah, they're kind of rotten. This guy right here just fell. Hmm. It's got a big bruise. Don't really want a bruise persimmon. But this thing is loaded. This tree. Well, now that we've collected as many per whoa, just dropped it. It's okay. It still feels good. Actually, I think we might have punctured it. I mean, it still feels solid. Feels like a good persimmon still. So we're gonna take it. Whoa, something must have knocked over our basket. It's okay, we'll just pick them all up. We will wash these off before we eat them so that we don't eat a bunch of bugs. So I do not wanna eat bugs, I wanna eat persimmons. There we go, we got them all back in the basket and we're gonna bring you back once we get a, uh, like a, uh, stick or something that we can pull down higher up branches so we can collect more persimmons how about that see when we get a stick all right guys so now we're back i actually decided i actually found another persimmon tree it's in this marsh here which is kind of annoying makes it hard to grab the fruits but we're gonna try and get some fruits out of it just need something to pull down this branch with see if we can find something real quick I don't really see anything. Just 
definitely not very helpful. All right, guys. So now we got a stick right here. We're going to see if we got this. Kind of use it to hook down the branch. There we go. Got our branch. Now we're going to pick some persimmons off of it. It's going to be a bit hard because you can only film one handed, but we're going to do it because these persimmons are going to be worth it. They're so good. Uh, that one's not really ripe. Uh, that one's pretty ripe. Take that guy there. Uh, those two there are not ripe, but I see some good looking ones over here. I'm gonna get them. We got them all, got two of them. I may actually try and find another tree, but I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see. We definitely got a couple persimmons off of that tree there. And I think they'll be pretty good, really do. Be really good persimmons. We worked hard for them, didn't we? Is that a persimmon tree over there? Might be. Not sure. Uh, it's more like a brass Bradford pear. Weird. Didn't even know we had them in this area. I guess they must have spread over here too. But yeah, we've got some good persimmons here. Um, so yeah. Um, it's going to be our video on how to find persimmons and then we'll show you the second way in the next video um we're gonna go back to that other tree try and get some more off of it maybe let's go let's go back over to that tree see what we got there could be more i won't be surprised if there are more because it's a big tree with a lot of persimmons i'm gonna put our persimmons that we collected off the other tree into the basket now now let's go over here see if we got some low branches we can easily be able to pull down so we can get some fruit i don't really see a whole lot of branches with fruit on them oh i see a couple actually never mind Got one over there, that one's pretty high up. So we're gonna go over to this side. See if you got some lower branches that are more easily accessible that have fruit on them. I don't see any, so we'll go for that one that was over there. We're gonna get another stick that's longer so that we can grab them, grab the branch down. We'll see you when we get right, one. So now we're out here. Got some persimmons. I try and grab them, uh, but I can't really film and grab them at the same time because this branch is hard to hold down. So I'm gonna cut and then I'll take you and I'll bring you back when I get them. Okay? So yeah, we'll see you when we get them. All right, guys. So now we've got our persimmons off of that branch. Got a uh, pretty good amount of them. Unfortunately, uh, one of them I dropped in the process of grabbing it. Got four of them. That's how many of them that were ripe? Yeah, you think, well, that was a lot of work for nothing. But I think it's worth it. Got good persimmons. Really good persimmons. And they're free. Didn't spend a single penny. Boy, was it a lot of work getting them. <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, that'll be our first method of getting them off the tree. Second method will be a little bit harder. But we will show it to you in tomorrow's video, so stay tuned. This will be pretty good. So yeah, that's going to be about all for today's video. So once again, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Be sure to put that down in the comments below, seeing you did that for a shout-out. We will see you guys on the next adventure.